Okay, hello YouTube. This video is for a Bissell SpotBot pet model, not spraying any solution either out of the, the hose attachment or spraying any water solution out of the main cleaning and brushing chamber. Alright, let's get started. So before we pop this sucker open, just a few things you might need while doing this. I'm just going to need a screwdriver, needle nose pliers, or other kind of pliers, and an adjustable wrench uh, for when we get to the, the pump. Alright, so first off you have your reservoir here. In this cap, when you take it off, take a look in the middle there, and when that is depressed, it will release a solution down into the pump. So what you want to do, you want to push on this and see if it's free and clear. And also check this screen, see if anything's blocking it. So that's your first step. So if you're sure that you can depress this in the middle right there, maybe with a toothpick, and solutions flowing freely, we'll move on to the next step. The loose solution bucket sits in this plastic chamber right here. And as you can see, this part has a little sponge here, and this can get popped out, and you can check for any debris in here, because the hole that the solution has to go through is very, very small. All right, so again, you want to look at this, maybe clean this, and see if this hole is maybe gunked up. The solution, if you put too much in, can get very sticky, especially if it sits for a long time. All right, so if this is free and clear, then we'll go on to the next step. Now, if you're having no solution coming out of the uh, cleaning chamber, the jets, which uh, there's several of, and the hose attachment, it's likely that there's a blockage uh, before it splits into both. Uh, but let's say you have a um, solution not coming out of your hose attachment. Um, this button right here, of course, sprays the solution, which comes out this hole which it'll go into your attachment through that hole right there and come out this black piece. Alright, so an easy way to test this, if you just take this off and spray your hose, you know, is it shooting out of here? Alright, then your problem must be your, uh, your brush attachment, your hose attachment. You can just run that through some warm water and get that clean. So, but if it's not coming out of here, um, we're going to open this up. Now, of course, make sure your unit is unplugged uh, before you get this open. But there is four screws, two on this side, and two right here. So let's take this off. Now, don't pull it too much because there's one uh, band that's going to get attached to your control board up there where the buttons are. Alright, so where the pins uh, come together. We're going to pull that off very carefully, uh, pull it straight out, there's no tabs, um, but if it's a little bit of resistance, just pull straight. Do not pull on the cables um, themselves, just on the plastic end, so let's pull that off. Here's what the inside of it looks like here. Um, just for other troubleshooting, in case you know some of the other stuff isn't working, and you like to work on them. Um, this here's the motor that will turn uh, your brush attachment and all the stuff inside there and on the side here um, you can actually see it's spinning so you know let's say you turn it on and you look through the side here and that's not spinning of course you know this unit can get pulled out and replaced uh, this large white thing is going to be the vacuum motor uh, which you know you'll know when that's not working and underneath here, we're going to get to we're going to get to the pump. But first, uh, this is a little piece that I mentioned. You know, to check for blockages. That's the bottom of the reservoir tank, and this just comes out here. So this black tube will come up through the pump. I don't know if you can see it, but it'll come back out of the pump and split two ways. One of which this black hose will go to the chamber alright and then this solution 
goes all the way through your hose at the end of the brush attachment, your hose attachment. All right, so you can visual, visually inspect this clear one, you know, to see if there's any blockages, anything like that. Uh, but like I said, if you're getting nothing out of both, it's got to be happening before it splits down here at that Y connector. So we're going to take a look at the pump. So to get to that, we're going to take this whole white section off here. There's a screw right here. And there's another one. Let me move this out of the way right here. And that's it. So we're going to remove both of these screws right here. Okay, now that we got the screws out, we'll pull this piece off. And be very careful, there's other wires attached here. So we'll just set that on top uh, right there. So first we're going to want to disconnect uh, the two electrical. Now before I took these off, I marked uh, this side red you know, for the red wire and then gray for this side. Alright, so just a little permanent marker in case you forget because if they're reversed, you put this back together, uh, it's not going to work. Alright, so this sits down freely right here into this uh, plastic bracket. Alright, but to get this out, we're going to detach these cables which are not clamped, uh, not really pressurized. Alright, so you can just pull on these all right, to get these off, get the little Y connector off. All right, so pull that off, set it off to the side. Now this side has the clamp. You know, this looks like a smaller version of the clamp maybe on your coolant hose in your car. All right, so that's what you're going to need your needle nose for. All right, so just uh, clamp that, slide it down, and let's pull that off and let's pull the uh, electrical off as well. So now that you have those off, you're going to remove these two um, black plastic uh, pieces right here. Those just help it sit down in there all right, without wiggling and moving around. All right, so we'll get those uh, taken off. And then to take the pump apart, you're going to want to use two different uh, wrenches on both sides here and then uh, take this apart. All right, so let's get that taken apart. All right, so we've got both ends unscrewed here. All right, so let's take this apart and slide this end out. This is the side that the uh, larger black hose is on with the clamp. All right, so maybe some pieces that come off. Alright, so this shaft right here should look like this. Alright, metal, yellow piece, another metal piece. Alright, so if you slide those off, this what's inside. It's fairly simple. So, what I did, I ran this under some hot water. And then using a toothpick, I just slide it through the middle and kind of work this a little bit. Keep running it under the hot water. All right, maybe you'll start to see it drip out the bottom a little. Work on this side too, just a little bit. See if anything's gunked up in there. But basically, any solution has stopped up in here. It's a very, very small hole as you can see so this is I say pretty common alright so once you run this under hot water kinda of worked it see if you can get some stuff running through it we're gonna reassemble this get it hooked up and then see if we have some solution coming out so let's get this back together All right. so as I said before in the metal piece then your yellow and your other piece and as we looked at it before, the electrical side has the larger side with the black hose. And this goes to the smaller hose. 
So get that screwed back on. And then using your two wrenches, you know, work it opposite ways and get that tightened back up. So now that it's assembled, you're going to put everything back on. You're going to make sure these two rubber pieces are on there so when you put it back together, of course your red and gray electrical wires. All right, I don't want you to put this black tube on that goes to the cleaning brush chamber and the hose that goes to the hose attachment. We're going to leave that off right now because what we want to check is, is if anything is coming out this end first. Okay, so carefully hook everything back up. And then on the end of this, that's the bottom of your, your cleaning reservoir. All right, we're going to take this piece off. All right, so just pop this off of here. If I can do it with one hand. There we go. All right, set that down. All right, we're going to run this. Just in a glass of water, okay, so it has something to suck up potentially. And then we're going to carefully plug back in the top here, okay, with your band. And then once you're sure that everything's hooked back up, you know, nothing is uh, detached, nothing's wet, all right, plug in your unit, make sure it's lighting up on the top, okay, make sure your buttons are on up there. Okay, and then you're just going to see, make sure your motor, your pump's pulled out here. All right, we're just going to see if it comes out this end. Now, if it doesn't, you're thinking, well, now what? Well, you got all the information you need right here, and these are pretty inexpensive. It's cheaper than the other motors, especially like the vacuum motor, and you can get one of these used for about 70 bucks. Uh, but this, now that you know how to take this apart, um, is easily replaced. So if you're positive it's uh, the pump, you know, you can just get this new part and get it replaced. Alright, so let's get it turned on and see if anything comes out the end. Alright, so once you get that rusting outside, make sure it's not going to squirt back into any of this stuff inside. Make sure the other end's in the water. We'll see if anything comes out. And make sure you're ready with the stop button uh, right beside to shut it off. Well, there you have it. All right, so we're getting stuff out. That's a good sign. And let's say you bought a new pump, you're watching this a few days later, you got to replace. Uh, just make sure you get everything hooked back up. Now, let's say it's coming out, but you're still not getting anything out of, uh, you know, either end. Okay? Uh, I have not run into that personally. Um, this was just gunked up, and I cleaned it out with hot water. But let's say you're not getting any anything else, but this is, you know, pumping out solution. You're going to take off these hoses, all right, that go to either end. And you're going to check the connector down here. Okay, release those clamps with your needle nose. And, you know, check for holes. Check for any leaks. Check for any blockages. Like I said, the solution, if you use a too strong a solution, um, if it sits in there, it can get pretty gunked up. And the end of these nozzles are, are uh, pretty small. Now, I will say the, the possibility that the nozzles underneath, on the bottom, you know, being clogged, I'd say, are a little less common only because if you take a look you know right there there's a lot of holes uh, that that can come out so those being clogged uh, would be a really big problem of course all this stuff comes off underneath here uh, we're just removing the screws so you can always take the brushes off the two plastic uh, clear vacuum pieces and of course this agitator and solution uh, part right there Okay, that does it for the pump troubleshooting on the Bissell SpotBot Pet. Okay, hello YouTube. This video is for a Bissell SpotBot
PET model, not spraying any solution either out of the, the hose attachment or spraying any water solution out of the main cleaning and brushing chamber. All right, let's get started. So before we pop this sucker open, just a few things you might need while doing this. You're just gonna need a screwdriver, needle nose pliers, or other kind of pliers, and an adjustable wrench uh, for when we get to the, the pump. All right, so first off, you have your reservoir here. In this cap, when you take it off, take a look in the middle there, and when that is depressed, it'll release a solution down into the pump. So what you want to do, you want to push on this and see if it's free and clear. And also check this screen, see if anything's blocking it. So that's your first step. So if you're sure that you can depress this in the middle right there, maybe with a toothpick, and solutions flowing freely, we'll move on to the next step. The loose solution bucket sits in this plastic chamber right here and as you can see 